Uh, hello, folks. Uh, this is uh, Dr. Devalli, and this short lecture uh, is uh, about how to edit a wiki page in Blackboard. By editing, I mean how to enter and modify and format text, how to enter images, uh, etc. Pretty much everything that you would do uh, with a word processor, you could do uh, in the Blackboard wiki. So here we are at the opening page of a class site, and generally you would want to go to the left and look at the content area that contains the wikis. In this course, it's the group uh, book report wiki. So you click here, and it brings you to the wiki content area. First notice there is a lecture, uh, a video lecture about successful group work. Uh, I recommend you watch that. It's a short video. It's only it took me about six minutes to make. And it goes over the key points in, in successfully working as a group. Working as a group and as a team is very different than working on your own. So you definitely need to uh, watch that video and follow the suggestions. Above that in the red font uh, is uh, the uh, the folder that has the individual uh, group uh, wiki sites. Uh, there's some directions. Notice also the last date for entering uh, wiki content. Of course, with the class and the semester, that date would uh, vary. So the next thing you do is click on the uh, content area, and it'll take you to the individual uh, wikis. Now, this is two classes merged together. And the, uh, uh, the groups only contain two people. So um, uh, you, uh, there's lots of groups. Normally, uh, the groups would be four or five people uh, uh, for a different type of group project. And they'd only be six or seven to a class. But anyway, I'm going to select one of these groups. Let's pick group one. Click on it. and it takes you to their uh, site. And as of yet, uh, group one hasn't done anything. Uh, but I want you to look at a few things. Uh, first, uh, on the right here is a place where you can go to full screen. You want to click on that. And then that turns the whole screen. Uh, and it looks like a word processing page. In fact, if you look at this toolbox here, these are all the things you can do. You can bold font italicize it, underline it, cross through it. You can change the type of font. You can also change the size of your font. You can also click here, uh, change color. And here you could do uh, bulleting. Uh, over here, you can um, uh, do your spell check. And uh, down here, you can uh, insert an image or an insert a piece of video. Pretty much everything you can do in a um, uh, word processing site you can do here. So for example, following the instructions that are giving about doing this report, there's instructions about setting up a title page. So the first thing you'd want to do is maybe enter your title. Uh, so comparative uh, book report of, and then you would give book one details, which I'm going to get in book two, since this is uh, a, a comparison of two books. And here you could put by, and then uh, name one of student and name two of the second student. Now, uh, let's suppose you're going to want to change, uh, for example, uh, we, this is, since this is a, uh, a paper, you'd want to uh, center uh, the font in the middle of the page. And then you can use this feature, center it. And also, uh, suppose you want to change the size of the font. You can click here. And let's make that a five point, and you want to uh, bold it as well. But also, the title itself, maybe you want to make that even larger. So that could be a seven point title, and you want to put that in a different color. So 
there you go. Now, uh, if you want to see what this would look like, as if, for example, as a finished page to see formatting, up here on the right, that, that looks like a little monitor, you click there, and that would give you an example of what your page would look like on an 8.5 by 11 setup, for example. Okay. Now, um, you can also enter, uh, since you're doing the book report, maybe you'd want to uh, enter a, an image of the book cover or the author. Uh, in this particular case, um, I have a, a picture of Dr. Harris, one of the book authors. So uh, I would just, from here, go to Insert Image. Takes me to a different page. If it's on a website, you can just put the URL, but in my case, I have it on my a hard drive, so I'm going to browse my computer. It takes me to the folder that I have it, Marvin Harris, insert it. I need to uh, describe the image, so I'm just calling it Dr. Marvin Harris, whatever, and put insert, and there it is. And if I w definitely I'm going to want to put his name under his photo, so I would click there. Again, I have to change it and let's make that font a little larger. So there. And you can, you know, just enter text the way you normally would enter text. Uh, if you see something that you want to change, well, all you have to do is either backspace over it or just block it out and hit the delete key and it's gone. Now, before you leave, you want to make sure you always go back and to the exit the full screen mode, you're in the edit the wiki page format and there you click the submit button. That's very important. If you don't complete, a uh, value must be provided. Oh, the name needs a page. And so what I would suggest is just uh, comparative book report. That's given the wiki site a name. And then click Submit. And there it is. And uh, uh, you could, uh, let's go back to the group wiki reports. And the next time you wanted to work on your page, you would open up the folder, find your, uh, your wiki site, and there it is. And then again, you can edit. Uh, if you decide, say, you want to move him, oh, you have to go to the edit wiki content format and then you can edit the page. For example, you might want to, say, move uh, the, the photo over uh, to the right a little more. You can do that, like that. Again, click Submit when you're finished, and then you could uh, leave and just go back to the group book report. So that's the way you can enter uh, material for your wiki. And remember, this comparative report, it's going to be one long page. Instead of uh, a separate page, it's going to be one long page of your report. Uh, I can tell who did uh, uh, how much of the work, uh, what proportion, who did editing, when, dates, time. So I have a back door into the wiki so I can see which team member did uh, uh, how much a share of the work. And uh, of course, they would be graded based on that. So uh, that's uh, really uh, all there is to it. Uh, it's going to take some practice, so I would get get in there, practice entering stuff, and remember if anything you want to remove, just block it out and hit the delete key. That's all there is to it. Okay for now.